at the Light Palace. Light always travels in straight lines, but as it travels through different mediums, no. such as solids, it is thick, water, and air, or gases. The speed changes and light can bend. A mirror is an object. When light bounces off the object, it reflects the image of time. Some of the words you'll need to know about light. Transparent, which means that the light can travel through the object and it's clear. We can still see Lily clearly, even though we're looking through a piece of glass. Translucent means that the light can travel through it, but it's not clear. We can't see Lily clearly through this fogged glass. Opaque means that we cannot see through the medium at all. We can't see Lily through A lens is a piece of material that is transparent and curved on either side. We have one of these in each of our eyeballs. A picture of a rainbow and of the different colours of light. The primary colours of light are different to the primary colours we usually know. Primary colours for light are red, blue and green. When the red and the blue are combined, it makes pink and purple light and all like the colours in the middle. When the blue and the green are combined, it makes aqua or light blue. And when the green and the red are combined, it makes yellows and oranges. And when all of the colours are combined, it makes white light. But white light's not visible to the human eye. Each light has a different wavelength. The wavelength for red is the biggest out of the colours. Kind of like that. The wavelength for blue is just a bit thinner. And the wavelength for green is even thinner than that. So the wavelengths get shorter between the different colours. Red has the longest wavelength, blue has the next, and green has the shortest wavelength. Apart from white light, which has even shorter still. But we can't see white light, so the waves are very, very, very thin and close together. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow. When the light comes through the window, it will reflect off the mirror through the water and should create a rainbow. You should hold the mirror so the light can reflect off it through the water onto the wall. We can see the main colours red, green and blue, and some of the other colours. And that's how you make a rainbow. The light we get from the sun is what we call white light. The colours we get are red, orange, yellow, green, blue and violet. This sequence is called the colour spectrum. When sunlight shines through raindrops, the raindrops refract white light and cause separation of colours. Cut low. <laughs> Ever wondered why you look different when you look into a fork or a knife compared to a spoon? I'm going to tell you why. Thank you, Lily. This side is convex, while this side is concave. When the light bounces onto the convex part of the spoon, it bounces out, but the opposite happens on the concave part. When the light bounces in, it crosses through, creating a focal point and switching the image upside down. So it's very difficult to look at yourself through the concave part of the spoon. I'll be explaining lenses. The light from the light source, which is the torch in this case, travels in a straight line towards the concave lens. When the light hits the concave lens, because it's going through something, it slows down. So it bends towards the normal of the point where the light hits at 90 degrees. When the light leaves the lens, it speeds up, so it bends away from the normal, increasing the angle that it was going through the lens. Refraction of light. When light travels from one transparent substance to another, it's often bent. Using a book, I'm going to show you a diagram that shows how light reacts when it goes through something like a glass block. This is the ray of light. It comes through, and if it was just going through the air again, it would keep going this way. But because it's going through something, it's slowing it down, so it bends towards the normal. So instead of coming out here, it comes out there. When it comes out of the glass block, it speeds up, so it bends away from the normal. So instead of coming out here, it comes out here. Action is what makes this part of the straw seem bendy when it goes into the water. When the straw enters the water at an angle, it looks bent. This is because of refraction. This was a ray of action. This sound is cutting out. The resolution comes up way off. The 
Hãy subscribe